Hello everyone, my name is Droogy Forever, and today we are continuing our Droogy Screamathon 2020 with the brand new, just released today, October 13th, Remothered Broken Porcelain. Uh, I was unsure about whether or not to include this in the Screamathon, but since it's a new horror game and it's a sequel to a game I liked, I thought we'd go ahead and uh, give it a try. So, let's go ahead and uh, include this as part of our Halloween event this year. Yeah, we can see the recap, I guess. Why not? Want me to start? From the beginning. For anybody who never played the first Remothered, Tormented Fathers was the uh, tagline. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief Lisa Garland conversation, <laughs> nah, I'm just is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Yep. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember the red nun. in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Phenoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects. I'm sure it did. Severe light sensitivity and homicidal rage. Yeah, we saw the As homicidal Reed was rage. Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton <clears throat> for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? I guess we're gonna find that out. All right, cool. Cool little uh, intro, recap. I can dig it. Let's go. Screamathon 2020. Love playing all these horror games, man. I was getting bored with the uh, crappy indie games. Not that they were all crappy, but you you know what I mean. We played so many bad indie games over the last few months that I'm just happy to be playing things that I'm excited about. I love Obscure, I love Cry of Fear, those are the first two we played, and now Remothered. I'm sure I'll probably like, I don't know if I'll love it, but I'm sure I'm gonna like it. It's sort of like Clock Tower. The Nuxel. Cool. Alright, hold on one second. I just realized the volume's not really up loud enough on the recording, so I'm going to turn that up for you. 
Okay, that's... Can't erase memories forever. That's loud enough, I think. It would be like erasing time itself. Memories and okay. time go yeah. hand in hand. That voice is familiar. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre- and post-trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers. Or a common ground. That boy sounds so by spells familiar. Of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings. Two opposing perceptions would coexist. Overlapping and threatening one another. To the detriment of the one truth, now shattered. The so-called porcelain memory. Okay, we've got some parts. I don't know exactly what we need to do with them, but um, it's cool that we found some stuff. All right. Oh, what the hell? Ah, get up! What the hell? What are you doing? Run! She, like, literally did not want to run. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. What the hell? There's nowhere to go. Crawl in there. Crawl in the vent. What do I do? What is this game doing? What? This is starting off not great. I gotta admit. Not impressed so far. This is such a terrible start. What is this? Go! My god, man! She won't go! <laughs> Can you just kill me and get it over with? Because I don't... I don't know what you want and I'm sick of trying to figure it out. So just... You just kill me. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. I guess so. What a stupid beginning, though. Gotta say, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I'm, I'm a big fan of the first game, but that intro was god-awful. God-awful in every way. You didn't explain anything to the player at all, and then they're desperately trying to figure out... I mean, why even let them pick things up? What was the point of that? What was the point of that? And we got, like, no story from it, so what was the point of it? You know, you it was just pointless. It, it was just time. stupid. These people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite. Bad, bad the job on that beginning. That were carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret. Making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just for this drug? The phenoxyl. The farm, the moths. The hypnosis. And all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. The most dangerous of any kind. The only way to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves. And to move on. Richard Felton, Ariana Gallo, Professor Wyman, the Ashman sons, Stefano and Gloria Ashman. They all made a choice. And so did I. So you chose to forget. For 49 years. I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced. Like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. It is there, and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Okay. I'm, a, I'm so... I'm confused on what they're going for here at the beginning. Though. It just feels off. Everything just feels off. I saw the reviews on Steam were mixed, which I was surprised to see, because I think the first game had very positive reviews. But it's still early. Hello? But 
very strange the way they're starting this off. It's almost it's like too disjointed, too disconnected. The girl is here. Shall I let her in? That's the woman that died. Go on. So now we have to play as the woman who died. Oh. You know why you're maybe she didn't. She's injured. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to do something now. Alright, um. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along. And by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem. Also, that's weird too. The audio is very strange. It's this is very low, but it was really loud a second ago. They will be coming to collect our next It's very strange. This game is a lot more unpolished than I thought it would be so far. And that's surprising the because has to be cleaned. they moved oh, release and up a week. That you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. I think they didn't want to compete against Amnesia. I think that's the sure only that reason don't get him they moved it up. After his parents' death, Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. I wonder if they what needed more time. Then? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning. Honestly, you know what it probably convent. was, I now that I think about it? it? The convent just went up in flames. I bet they tried to get this out for Halloween too fast. A dozen nuns died in that fire. They knew Mr. it was going to come out. Gloria, being one of them. Um, maybe like January, that February, something like that. And they were like, you know what, Halloween will sell more. They had gone mad. I, be I bet they needed Wyman? just a couple more months. Sure didn't help them. They were probably like, it'll be done right she past Halloween, but if we just put it out parents. early, why? we'll sell more. Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'm not saying that to be I'll a jerk. I mean, it makes sense, because it's a horror game. But I would have maybe tried to take a little bit more time. Just... Just because, I don't know. It just seems. Did Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Not as. Lower your voice. You'll get us thrown out of here. Polished as the first game. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. Oh God. What? Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all, so they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Jesus.
knocking? No way. It is so last year. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. I didn't mean to. It was only... an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Then please. I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. Go away! Just please! Open the fucking door! Door! Fuck you, Lynn! Fuck you! You were just loyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. I beg you. Why'd she say she was disloyal? The other girl was. The one who said she was disloyal was the one being disloyal. Why'd she accuse her of being disloyal? I don't get it. My god, I have to leave this place at once. I don't, I don't think taking a shower is going to get us out of here, but... Alright, that's not helpful. Oh. Okay, well... Let's see here. This is just one of those bad days. It's weird trying to open these. Okay. Open that one. She won't open the middle one. what I wanted. Thank you. Can we crouch? Can I get any of these items? Or is it all... Yeah, it's nothing. Alright. Why can't I open that? It's got a icon on it, but I can't open it. That's really weird. Then? Oh. I don't want to hide. I just wanted to see what that was. All right, so the moth key, how do I use that? I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Can I take that? Nope. All right. Oh, what's that? Moth key. What are these moth keys for? Knife. Found a knife. I don't know. It lets me look at that, but it doesn't let me do anything with it. Can I take the alcohol? Okay. The bottle. Paper knife. What the hell is a paper knife? You mean like a letter opener? Is that what they mean? Oh, what was that? Insecticide. I don't know how to make anything in this game. It didn't give me any kind of tutorial. Can I pick up that bottle? It won't let me pick up that one. 
What's the difference between that one and the other one? Another knife, okay. The hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces. No. What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all, Lynn. Side spot? It is. Okay. It takes forever to look through everything in this. There's no like pointer so you know if you're looking at it or not. You just kind of have to. Room 213. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. I don't know. Shovels. She dropped it for the knife, it looks like. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to... Ah, okay, I can throw a bottle. How do I... Alright, I need to look at the controls, because it's... I put the tutorial on, but it's not doing anything. It's literally not telling me anything. Inventory's I... Alright, I thought I pushed that, but I guess not. What can I make? Crafting items... Defense items, diversion items. Okay. So now I've got whatever the hell this is. Alright, swap the shovel out for the knife. I don't know if... I don't know what's, what's what or how to use it, but... Locked? This door has never been locked before. Screwdriver drops knife. You can only hold one of whatever this is. Defensive item of some kind. I don't maybe. understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What the hell does Acarontia mean? Telephone in the lounge to ask for help. Is this the lounge? I don't want to die. I can't get. Stop it. Whoa! What? She wasn't there. What? I'm confused.
What the hell? How do I get away from her? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. They're all locked and... Is there... How do I... What the hell, man? Give us a tutorial! Seriously, give us a tutorial, man! How do I strike? How do I open shit? Like, what the fuck? This is, like, terrible compared to the first game. Brain? What? Moth power? I don't... Yeah, that's not working. I don't know what to do! I... I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. All the doors are locked, so I mean... What, what can I do? I don't get this. I'm so confused. This is a really awful start to this game. Two and a half? Not. Here I come. I am shocked at how bad this beginning of this game is. I'm not kidding. Like, I have to find Lynn. I am just shocked. It's it's insane. Yeah, every door is locked. I don't know what I could possibly do. And also, how do I use these defensive items? It doesn't even... It's just a special interaction E, but it doesn't... I don't understand. It hasn't explained anything. Use the telephone in the lounge. How? Okay, so apparently this is a stealth attack item. Okay. Diversion didn't work at all. Here's the thing, though. I don't... I saw a mirror with a metronome earlier but it didn't let me see that there I don't, I don't understand I'm so confused I can hear her out there going here? I can hear her in there. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. Okay. So now this door is open. Okay, I cannot see like this. What the hell, man? Oh, man, this is killing me. Standard wide apply. Okay, that helps a little bit, I guess. Not a lot. Andrea, what the 
hell is going on with you? This is all so surreal. Okay. Is there a wider one? Because I need it just a tiny bit. Also, yeah, I noticed it saved my stuff as... Uh, it's not... Cancel. It's already at the widest it's going to be. Alright, how the hell do I get by her? I told Ashley that we didn't need desperate children. Okay, I was trying to pick up the bottle, but cool. Do your thing. I hear a metronome. Save the game. Okay. Hold to restore life. Alright. Here's the thing, it wanted me to use the phone, but... It isn't the phone in the room I just came from? I'm kind of afraid to uh, go in there again. Can you? Oh boy, this game. I can't even, in that crouched position, I can't, I can't get out of here. Look at this. Thank you for shutting the door because I literally couldn't move. All right. I can't pick up. Weird. So you can only hold three items. Wait, don't I need... I guess not. Alright, fine. Pick that up. That's a hiding spot. Moth key. I keep picking up these moth keys and I have no idea what they're for. I feel like I sh I'm supposed to remember that from the first game, but I don't. Okay, picking up a lot of stuff here that I can't do anything about. What did I drop there? I need to drop one of the bottles. Okay, maybe not. Never mind. Whatever. Alright. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Since we saved it, I've got to I've got to walk back this way and see what the sign says over here. Also, is that a knife or a book? Why does she get stuck on everything? If you get close to anything, she like doesn't want to walk normal. That was a portable radio? It was. All right, well, we'll leave the bottle then. What's the sign say? Lobby. Um, lounge room. Okay, maybe that's not the lounge room then. I don't know. Rope. Well, apparently I can't combine any of this stuff. I think the radio might be more useful than the rope. I don't know. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll leave that. We'll take the rope and the radio. This arbitrary, like, can only carry three things and can't defend yourself, mostly, kind of uh, gameplay is 
getting super annoying. I was kind of hoping they would expand upon it in this one, but I guess not. Another bottle. Is there any point to opening anything once you've filled up your inventory? That's locked. Cinema room. Locked. What's that? Uh, no, I don't need those. This one's open. I don't know what's in here? Laundry room. What is that? Did Andrea really suspect that someone was poisoning her? But, but who? Ah! Oh dear! What happened? is going on with you, Andrea? I, I must warn the others. While well, they're wandering around the house, I am here, working with the ass. Okay, so the room at the bottom of the stairs. All right. Crap! She locked the door. I'm trapped. She's still there. I don't know if I should go out or not. That's locked, so it's pointless to go out that way. There's a insecticide. I don't remember which way the door was. Is it this way? No, it was this way. But what about that electric thing burning out? Does that mean I'm not going to be able to get through? I hope it actually saved the game. Didn't really look like it did.
Will the rope work? Nope. How do I repair the cable then? What is that? Bottle, which I don't need. No, wait. Yep, leave the bottle. So somehow I've got to figure out how to repair this cable. Fantastic. Was that on my list? Repair the electrical cable. All right. Oh, that's fun. Actually, I don't think she's over here. I could probably make some noise. A little bit. Alright, I don't remember seeing a cable to the right. I saw ropes though, so I don't know if there's a difference between the cable and the ropes, but they look pretty much the same. We're screwed because I'm not going to pick them up because they're going to look just like ropes. So I hope there's a way to tell. Wait, what? Sprint duration. Reduces noises. That might be helpful. Health recovery. Diversion items. Special bonuses. I want sprint duration or proficient shadow and movement and all that. I want this one. Oh, the moth keys do this. This is what they do. I want that one too then. Um, noise from movements reduced 2% when health is critical. Uh, Adds a chance after acquiring a moth key you're gifted another one. I don't know what else I want to level up. I don't know what all I need. Alright, there. We'll take all those and... see a rope or anything in there. That's a defensive item. Is she over here? I don't see her. Don't see anything there. Uh, wait, how many items do I have in my inventory? Three. Oh, I must have dropped something. I must have dropped one of my good diversion items. Because now I only have two of them that are, or one of them that's good. That's locked. Well, what the hell? Where do I get the uh, rope or whatever? I see two items in there actually. There's a doll. I don't think that one was mine. 
don't know how I'm going to fix this. Did maybe what's your name go down this way and unlock one of these doors? No. Wait, what's this? That's a rope. So I don't really... Yeah, both are ropes. She didn't go here. I don't know where she went. Also, I have yet to see anything remotely resembling a cable. That is what it wants, right? A cable. It just says repair the electrical cable, but I assume that it wants a cable. Alright, the only room that's open is this one. Let's get back in. Look around a little bit. What is that? Scissors. That's a defensive item. She locked this door, so I can't get out there. That is not a cable. What the hell, man? That is a screwdriver. Oh. What's that in the bottom there? I don't think it's anything. It's not letting me pick it up. Alright, I'm going to save it again and hope to God that somehow I can find a cable somewhere. Uh, what are you doing? Move forward. Thank you. Oh, I can go back through here. Alright, she's in here. Oh yeah, I never it used works. the phone, huh? I don't know what number to call. We call 911. followed by pound. So 213 pound. Um. Bingo. What now? I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh God, I hope they don't find out. Please go. Okay, so she should be unlocking 213 now, right? That means I have to go back through there to get to it. Sorry, I ran away because I wasn't sure which way she was going to go. Obviously, I guess she... I should have known she'd go the other way, but I wasn't sure. This game's weird. And I know I keep saving it, but this game terrifies me with its uh, ability to uh, lose progress. Alright, she's in here again.
There's no way out here, right? Oh. Okay. Two one three should hopefully be open now. Yeah, I know I don't probably need to be sneaking right now, but I don't trust stealth Elisa? games. Where did everybody go? Access the balcony and look for Elisa. Okay. Close that. What is that? Oh, it's a bottle. Damn it, I should know. There's no power. It won't work. Instructions. Six two one three one. But how am I gonna get an external call out though? Alright, hold on, I'll write it down. Model one seventy six pound dial. 62131. Okay. I was just seeing if that. Whoa, what, what is that? Oh, it's a moth game. Alright, I'll get out on the balcony in a second. I want to look around the bathroom and all this stuff. Bottle, nothing much in here. Rope. What? No noise happened there. Electrical cable. Found an electrical cable. I shouldn't have encouraged Lynn to take part in the contest. Maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lynn? Alright, that door's locked. But I got an electrical cable. If I can somehow sneak back, then I should be able to get through. Does it show it in my inventory? No, it does not. Access the balcony, turn the power back on, repair. Alright, collectibles. I don't think. All right. Okay, she's still doing something. In order to factory reset your safe, insert the choice? following code. Not. Three, two, one, four. Okay. Three, two, one, four. We can do that right now. the code. How do I... How do I enter the code? Look at the number pad! It won't let me enter it. It literally will not let me enter it. That's so weird. What the hell? Why? 
It won't let me put the card in. What the fuck? Oh, that is so dumb, man. Fix your fucking game. Seriously? Come on, man. I've run into some stupid shit in this game, but that's the dumbest. Come on. Unfucking real. That is fucking pathetic. That is fucking pathetic. I appreciate that you were trying to get this game out in time for Halloween, but you know what? It needed more time, period. End of fucking sentence. This was not ready for release, period. That's just all there is to it. Unreal. Un-fucking-real. Just right hearing me walk down the steps because I didn't crouch. Yes, yes, please! What am I supposed to do? Oh no, I almost had it. What do you mean? Yes, yes, I don't know please. what you want. I don't know I what I'm supposed it. to be doing here. I took it yes, to the yes, inside please. and then Yes, I did it. Okay. Weird. I don't know if she's going to come to see who turned it on, so Alright, she's not here. Let's just go. Um, unlock the safe. Access the balcony. I keep saving it anytime we make progress because I'm convinced this game's just going to take all my progress away at some point. Okay, so here's my here's my thing. The safe it's a digital safe, but it's not like it's plugged in. Right? This is the 70s. You you're not plugging it. Why would you need power? Here's I just don't understand. So I get now that what they were going for, you have to turn the power back on to get in the safe, but why? Look at it. There's no cords coming out of it. And what safe would have been powered by... What could the code be? What'd you... Oh my god! What is going on here? This game is fucking god-awful. What the hell? Yes, yes, yes! Balcony key. Alright, here we go. The French window. There are so many issues with this game. And it sucks because it looks good. And, uh, some of it is quite good. That's locked. Okay, don't... What is that? Moth key. Oh god, I'm freezing! Yeah, I know. You gonna have to... See, that's why I was crouched. What? How? I was literally crouched down. I must find a way to reach it. Push this. Really? Why are you going so slow? What are you doing? You're pushing it the wrong way. Get off! Get off! Oh my god, really? Really? I mean, really? What the fuck, dude? Holy shit, this game is broken. 
Stop it! What's with this? I'm supposed to get a mini game. What the hell? Wow. 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 This game is fucking broken as fuck. Broken porcelain is completely fucking broken. I am literally, like, I'm just losing it here. This game is fucking broken. Look at this. What are... Well, you get stuck on everything. Like, look! If you get near an object, she just starts crawling. I started to push that object from the side, and it acted like she was pushing it from the front. Now I'm... Oh, man. I just tried to run a second ago, and it, like, would not allow me to run. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. Push. Alright, let off of it. Get on it! What are you doing?! Oh my god! This is ridiculous! What the hell? It was below the window. Like, it's just... I just... I... I don't have words to describe what is happening in this game. Wow. Wow. This needed a lot more time. They definitely, without a doubt, pushed this out for Halloween knowing that it was broken. That's the mixed reviews. It's got to be. Because this is, this is insane. This is nowhere near as polished as the first game. It has so many issues. What is that? Iron wire? Wait. That's not a regular... It didn't put it in my regular inventory. Felton? Gallo? The mirror. I saw it. What's going on, kids? Mommy is coming. Oh, God. Andrea, I have to hide. Go. Smash you in pieces with my own hand. Shh, shh. Calm down. Calm down. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break- Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. You can do it, Jen. You can do it! I have to be quiet. Crouch. Crouch. I will not move until you fucking crouch, you dumb bitch. Get the fuck on the ground. Crouch. Crouch. What is happening? What is happening? This game is so broken. Let's just make sure, right? Let's just make sure it didn't just change the button on us. Stance is left control. I literally cannot crouch. The game has decided I am no longer allowed to crouch. Crouch is literally broken.
I'm not even kidding. I can't crouch anymore. Look at this. This is nuts. What? Why did you tell me to attack now? What the hell, man? This game is completely fucked. I'm not even joking. This is just fucked. This is so messed up, man. This game... I can't believe how bad it is. I am astonished that the same team that made the first game made this game. It is that broken. It's super unfortunate. This is so disappointing. This needs major, major patches to fix it. It is not great. Very disappointing. I hear her to my right. God knows if that's where she's at, because if everything else is broken, sound design could be broken too, but it sounds like she's right in the room. I still hear her to the right. I have to stay calm. Is she coming? There's the door. I don't hear her moving. I just heard the door shut. Fuck it, let's go out. Oh, fucking what? There is no fucking way. There is no fucking way. None. That is not possible. Period. End of sentence. Not possible. Of course she's here. I'm trying to heal. Of course. This sucks, man. This sucks so fucking bad. This just sucks. This is terrible. I cannot think of a way that this could possibly be any worse. It's just... fucking disappointing. Okay. Wanna play tough? I'll show you, bitch. This is so disappointing. Oh, well, she's over there. I wonder if she'll see me hiding here. Of course she did. Of course. She didn't see me the whole fucking time until I fucking popped in here. I need- I need a break from this already. This is garbage. I don't- I don't know what you want me to use as a diversion. You keep saying that, but... I honestly don't know what you want. She is. Fuck. Oh. 
I don't even know what my goal. I don't even know what my goal is right now. It won't even let me look at my goals while I'm while I'm in here. What is the harm in looking at my goals while I'm in this box? Seriously. I saw her leave. Hopefully she's fucking done. Oh, I can look at my goals now. Defeat Andrea. That's my goal? Are you serious? I don't even know how to do that. I'm... Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell, man? Oh, of course. Uh, of course I go to the locked door. Fantastic. Move! Keeps opening the door. How did she see me? How am I supposed to beat her if she constantly can see me even when I'm hiding? That makes no sense. This game makes no sense. There is so much work to be done with this. So much. I didn't want to put that down. Okay, tried to look at this. Let's see. Anything here that'll fucking help me? I have five left. I could do tools, but I don't know. It says damage will go up, so yeah, maybe. All right, just leave me stuck there. That's awesome. Yeah. None of these actually fucking kill her. How am I supposed to take her out? I don't seem to be able to actually fucking kill her, but it wants me to take her out somehow. Give me a fucking knife or something. Man, I saw so much stuff laying out earlier, now I don't see anything. spots in here.
It should not take this long to kill a stupid bitch. I need her to come in so that I can then follow her out. Not that it'll fucking let me do that because she fucking senses me when I'm anywhere near her. But I need to be able to follow her out so that I can fucking Young lady, don't make me attack her. Where'd she go? No, come on, go! Stop getting stuck on shit. I have no idea where she went now because I couldn't get out of here fast enough. She's coming this way, I think. I don't understand why it wanted me to lure her over here. We need to heal. There she is. He hurt me. I don't get it. She moves so fast. Like, how would we do this? How are, are we supposed to sneak up on her and fucking take her out? Where'd she go? She must have went around the wrong way. somewhere but I can't see where oh god I have to find Lynn where'd she go oh my god I'm never gonna be able to kill this bitch she was at my left even though she was at my right a second ago and she never went through that door Is supposed to be a hotel. She's up like and to the left. Just slightly. Like just out of where I can see. She's right in that room somewhere or in the hallway. Past like if I go right and then hook a left in the Tell hallway. Me you're okay. It would be best if I just told him. Now she's on the right again. What the fuck? Where is she? I keep hearing her and not seeing her. Now she's far away. Jesus Christ.
Did you come for it? Hey, here. I don't think she came for it. I hear her to the left. My God, I have to leave this place at once. Oh my god, this sucks. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. Here she comes. I was hoping for a fucking... It's not giving me the fucking quick time event. I don't know why, but it's not. Okay. I need another sharp weapon. Sharp weapon, sharp weapon, sharp weapon. What do you got? What do you got? Anything? Come on, something sharp. Scissors. Okay. She did this last time. Damn it! I don't know what to do! I can't attack her and I can't sneak up on her! No matter what I do, she fucking gets me! Oh great! Okay, don't put the rope on the fucking door then. I don't know what to do! I genuinely don't know what to do. She went around that way. Hold on. She's gonna see me. See? What the fuck? I'm I'm done. I'm done. That's remothered broken porcelain. This game, holy fuck, is it bad? I'm hiding behind this. She has no eyeline on me. There's no way she can see me. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. This. I don't know what this is, but this is garbage compared to the first game. Absolute garbage. It is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Please, for the love of God, do not buy this until I patch it. It needs some major, major improvements before this can even be considered, in my opinion, a playable game. It, this is so unfortunate. This is one of the biggest disappointments of the year for me. I was so looking forward to this, and this is bad on a whole other level. It's just, wow, my head is killing me. I, this is so bad. That's Remothered Broken Porcelain. Screamathon 2020 continues. After this, we're going to go play something good, because I, I can't take this anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash, and don't forget to subscribe. You stay you, I'll stay me, Drew forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. It's not going to fucking be this. Later.